Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am live in my kitchen. Today is, what is today? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday, July 8th. July 8th, 2020. Which means tomorrow is July 9th. And you know what July 9th is? It is Jamie's birthday. If you are a fan of the Hungry Girl podcast or Hungry Girl at all, you know the name Jamie because Jamie is the queen of many things Hungry Girl and has been working with me for how many years? 14 years, Jamie? Hopefully you're in the audience right now, Jamie, because if you're not, you're missing this giant shout out. Hey, Mary. Anyway, Jamie is having a birthday tomorrow, so everybody here in this audience should wish Jamie a gigantic happy birthday. If you're home, start singing out loud because it's her birthday and Jamie rocks. All right, today I am here dressed like a Reese's peanut butter cup wrapper. If you didn't know that, Lauren thought the wrapper was red, right Lauren? Yeah, are you sure it's not? She thinks, she's still insisting that the Reese's peanut butter wrapper is red. It's not, please tell her it is perfectly coordinated with my top, hi Jeff Hacker. Hi, hey Jeff, how are you? You won something, didn't you? Anyway, people, are you super excited tonight because I am making a peanut butter cup coffee? I have to be honest, when I was asking for recommendations for what I should make and then people were like, you should make coffee with powdered peanut butter, I was thinking, wow, I don't know if that sounds good. But I was like, hey, I'm gonna try this and see if it works and guess what? It is freaking amazing. It is this peanut butter cup coffee freeze is to die for. I have had it three times. I had it for breakfast today. I love it. You're gonna love it. You're also gonna love what I'm giving away tonight. What do you think it is? Yes, yes, artwork. I don't even know what this means. Do you know what this means? Coffee is my cardio. You know, I've seen shopping is my cardio. Lauren, have you ever seen anything like this? No. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It says coffee is my cardio, which means I guess it's like, you know, you're doing cardio if you're drinking coffee. Hi, Dana. Dana, you don't even drink coffee and you're here. Um, the audience is filling up rapidly with people who love peanut butter, people who love coffee, people who love the color orange, people who just want to wish Jamie a happy birthday. I'm giving away this artwork tonight. If you want to win it, interact with us. I'm going to be asking trivia questions. I'm going to be saying a lot of silly things. I'm gonna be asking you to weigh in on things like, do you like crunchy peanut butter or smooth? That's the question of the night. Smooth or crunchy or both? You could win this art or you could win this very exciting double-sided mug. Look at that. One side has the Hungry Girl logo. One side says, chew the right thing. It's super adorable. If you like this, click hearts and likes. Tell me you want the mug. Tell me you want the artwork. Tell me you're just having a grand old time um, if you want to get notified when I go live for things like this, click get notified. So look in your little feed and where it says, do you want to be notified when Hungry Girl goes live? Say yes, please notify me. So I'm giving away these spoons as well. Very exciting. Jeff Hacker, you like both crunchy and smooth. Jeff, you're very interactive tonight. Hey, Peggy. So you're winning, wait, what are you winning? Spoons? You're winning a mug or you're winning this gorgeous handmade craft from me. I'm in a very silly mood tonight. Why? Because peanut butter makes me happy. Mikey, are you in the audience tonight? Is Mikey in the house? Mikey is the big peanut butter fan of the group. If you listen to the Hungry Girl podcast, which you should, you know it comes out every Wednesday, so we had a new, a new episode today. We actually had a peanut butter swap in the episode today. That was very good, so you can listen to that. Um, I linked to it for the first time today on the Hungry Girl page, so you could see it on YouTube, but also if you have an iPhone, you can listen to it where there's like Apple podcasts. Okay, so to make this peanut butter cup coffee, it's very simple. Um, you need a slew of ingredients I bet you predict, and also the ingredients I told you to use to get to prepare for this. I'm reading your comments. All right, so we're going to start now. Uh, first thing you need is coffee. If you don't like coffee, you actually could make this recipe without coffee. I might add like a little chocolate protein powder, but let's just pretend you like coffee, which hopefully you do. We're gonna use, in a tall glass, two teaspoons of instant coffee. This is very good instant coffee right here. This is Taster's Choice. I also like the Starbucks Via coffee. 
which is good. But this is very good instant coffee. Um, now we're gonna put in some sweetener packets. Two, I use Truvia. I love that. What Do people like smooth or crunchy peanut butter, Lauren? What's, what's the winner? Both. Both, what do you like more? Crunchy. I, like, I might like crunchy more too, but it's funny, I always keep smooth in the house. All right, this is, this smells so great. This is a tablespoon of dark cocoa powder. This is, I don't even know if this is officially dark. It's majestic, so it's the best cocoa powder ever, truly. This, this can is like big enough for me to live inside of, but I'm in love with it. I used a tablespoon of that. And what's next? Oh, I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Guys, if you've been following along with the bouncing ball here at the World of Hungry Girl and in my kitchen, you know I've been using this ingredient a lot in my drink recipes. If you like it, click hearts. Lots of love for the xanthan gum. If you don't have it, this recipe will still work, but if you have it, the texture of your drinks will be better. Jeff, what do you mean OMG? I feel like I'm having a private conversation with Jeff. Why is he OMGing me? All right, I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon of the xanthan gum because it's a great way to add texture to your beverages. It, it just, if you want your coffee drinks to sort of have the texture that they do at Starbucks, this is what you do, you get this stuff. Is Jamie out there? Have you seen Jamie? Yeah. Oh, here. Jamie, is everybody, uh, is everybody wishing you a happy birthday? If you're home and you're not singing to Jamie, you're failing. Okay, now the next ingredient that goes into this glass, I'm gonna use these mini chocolate chips, a teaspoon. A teaspoon goes a long way, and it adds the nicest, richest chocolate flavor to the drink. So there's a teaspoon of those chips, and now, oops, I almost forgot one of the most important things. Is there any calories in xanthan gum? No, xanthan gum is virtually calorie free. I almost forgot the peanut butter powder. No, I didn't. So this is, this is PB Fit. You can use whatever powdered peanut butter you like. Look how much of this I've used already. It's crazy. Somebody said, can I use coffee for coffee powder? Uh, I mean, coffee protein powder instead of coffee. I guess, maybe a tablespoon of it. It'll change the stats, but it would probably taste good. So now we want two tablespoons of this powdered peanut butter. Powdered peanut butter, for those of you who are not in the know and don't follow me religiously, powdered peanut butter is an ingredient I use a lot in baking, I use it in oatmeal, I use it in drinks, I use it in cakes. It acts as a flour, it's essentially peanut flour, it's defatted peanuts turned into a powder. If you add a little bit of water, you can turn it into like a spread and make like a peanut butter. You can use it on a sandwich. Or, um, and it just has like a fraction of the fat and calories of regular peanut butter, so it's good. So in this glass, just to recap, we've got the powdered peanut butter, the cocoa, the sweetener, the xanthan gum, and the chips all here living harmoniously in this glass, and I give it a mix. What's going on over there? Hi, Mary. Mary just said, Jamie. Anyone saying anything interesting? Have you tried using tapioca um, starch? Tapioca starch. I've never used tapioca starch. If you have ideas for that, let me know and I'll maybe I'll try it. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you a question and you can answer it and you can win one of the prizes, even if you get it wrong, just by answering Who invented peanut butter cups? Who invented peanut butter cups? Do you know? If you know, weigh in. Tell me. All right, now we're gonna dissolve this. So we need three ounces, it's a magic number. Three ounces of very hot water. I will be right back. I'm gonna go fill up my glass with three ounces. Do, do, do. This is three ounces. If you have a measuring cup, you should be able to measure that pretty exactly. Three ounces of uh, Pretty hot water, I have instant hot. And then you wanna mix that to dissolve everything. You wanna dissolve the chips. I think you're hilarious. Who thinks I'm hilarious? Lee, thank you, that's very nice. Um, I love the spoons. The spoons are great. So this is, I will tell you this, when you mix this up, it is gonna smell incredibly amazing. 
In fact, if you just added like a little more peanut butter powder to this, you'd have like the best peanut sauce, like chocolate peanut sauce in the world. Yes, I added the instant oh, okay. coffee. Aaron just yes, the first thing I did was put in the coffee. Okay. And it smells, did Aaron ask that? Yeah. Yes, I added the coffee. I have a, I am known for sometimes leaving ingredients out. Don't put it past me because I just have so much fun chatting with you guys. It's so thick and beautiful. Like I can't even handle it. So this, oh, maybe I didn't say I added the coffee, but I did. So in here is coffee, that could be. Coffee, powdered peanut butter, xanthan gum, cocoa, sweetener, and chips. All in this glass. And then it becomes like a sort of thick extravaganza of deliciousness. And I like to use, like lately I've been obsessed with the bullet, I have to say, instead of my traditional blender. But you're going to add this. Could you, could you get, a, get a good view? Because all I see is like comments. This is like a very thick mixture of excitement and deliciousness going into the blender. Is anyone answering who invented peanut butter cups? Yeah, there's so many random names. Like who? Like, does it say like Jonathan? Harry Reese? Yeah, H.B. Reese. Oh, that's right? Yeah, yeah, that's why they call it Reese's. But I have to tell you, you guys out there, if you are one of those people that call the peanut butter cups Reese's, you're just flat wrong. And I have to tell you, people might be making fun of you behind your back if you call them Reese's. Lauren, do you call them Reese's? No. Thank God. Anyway, if you call them Reese's, consider this a public service announcement because they are officially Reese's. All right, I have chocolate on my hand. I'm going to rinse it off. Now, I taught you guys a trick. First of all, the glass is beautiful. But I taught you guys a trick, so we're going to try to get some of the rest of the residual chocolate into the blender by when I go to use the almond milk. Look at me. I have like a silk shirt on that has water stains all over it. By the way, my white shirt from the other day had a stain on it. I made white pizza dumplings, and it had a stain on it, and everything was white. So how did that happen? I don't know. Okay, this is four ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. My fave. It's very, very delicious. What? What, what, what? That looks delicious. I know it looks delicious already. So this is what I'm gonna do. Before I put the milk in the blender, I'm gonna put it back in the glass. I'm gonna try to get the rest of the chocolate deliciousness into the blender. This is a little hack. You can't say you don't learn things from me, right? So the guy who invented uh, peanut butter cups is H.B. Reese. He died, he was like a billionaire several times over. He was a chocolatier confection person, and he was very successful. Uh, okay, next trivia question. How many peanuts do you think it takes to make a 12-ounce jar of peanuts? 12-ounce jar. Lauren, you can guess too. You might win some spoons. Okay, so I'm going to put this almond milk into the blender now. It looks pretty good. I, I kind of cleaned off the glass, but it'll look like tie-dye when I'm done. All right, so now we've got the almond milk and my chocolate mixture. This is gonna go into the blender with a cup and a half of special ice. I have to tell you, I like pellet ice. I have a pellet ice machine. I love it. There are several versions you can buy on Amazon. We might link you to them. So that's a cup. The pellet ice to me works better than all other ice put together. Okay. Now, Are you guys having fun yet? Are you answering questions? Do they, are they guessing how many uh, peanuts it takes? Yeah. Let me give this a little shake because I want to make sure this, yeah, the chocolate, look at the chocolate. Before I blend this, I'm going to give this a little bit of a mix because. 6,000. I think I was going to say 6,000. 6,000. Aaron, who are you? All right, hopefully this is going to work. If you see like some of your stuff is stuck to the blender, just mix it. Six thousand. Holy macaroni. Were you gonna say six hundred, Laura? Good guess. Lauren, uh, Erin wishes she had a jar of peanut butter made of six thousand peanuts. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Six thousand peanuts. Yes, that's 
person definitely looked up the answer. But this is what? You were very close. Lauren, you were very, very close. Um, considering. Considering wait, okay. considering usually. Sometimes your guesses are out there. All right. All right, I'm gonna tell you, okay, people, relax. But look how look how beautiful the texture is. This is so gorgeous. Ah, it's perfect. Ooh, it's getting on my hand. The reason why I don't put all the ingredients in the blender is because I like to mix them properly. And sometimes, depending on your blender, you can't. If you have a bullet, you might be able to. But if you have like a traditional blender, it's hard to do because it's gonna get stuck in the blades and then you're gonna be like, everything's stuck in the blades, Lisa. Why did you make me do that? So I'm just, I'm thinking of you because, you know, I like you. All right, so this is what it needs now. It's so freaking beautiful. Mmm. I'm using tonight fat-free ready whip. Two tablespoons, a prox. This, by the way, 145 calories, ooh, look, my bra. 145 calories, 6.5 grams of fat, 17 carbs, four grams of fiber, eight whopping grams of protein, four points on all the plans, no matter what color. Mmm. Phenomenal. I'm gonna say this. It's the perfect amount of sweet, the perfect amount of creaminess, the perfect amount of peanut butter, the texture is like on point, spot on incredible. There's no grittiness at all from the powdered peanut butter. The powdered peanut butter packs a nice nutritional punch. It's too good. It is so good that I'm gonna ask you a third question and give out the third prize from this question. Okay, peanut butter was originally made for who? Who was the target audience for peanut butter originally? Originally, and don't say Mikey, it was not Mikey. Peanut butter's been around a long time. Mikey's not that old. This is ridiculously good. I love this. Four points on purple, four points. This is great. Is this pretty or what? Do you know who peanut butter was originally made for? Is anybody guessing? Not yet. It's this is so good. Do you have questions? Because if you have questions, I'm here to answer them before I answer the, the last trivia question. I have everything except the xanthan gum. Jeff, if you make this without the xanthan gum, it'll still be good. It might just be slightly icier. The xanthan gum, I have to tell you, this ingredient, you should just click it on Amazon. You should get these glasses too. The worker or the worker glasses. These are amazing. This is amazing. These things will change your life. You, you're just going to be happy. You will be thrilled. Everything you make, it tastes delicious. Thank you so much, Terry. Mmm. Dana. Dana says that peanut butter was made for pregnant women. That is not the answer. Should I just give the answer? Animals? Not animals. Coffee is my cardio. You can win that. You can win the mug and you can win the spoons, but I'm gonna give the answer right now. Peanut butter was made for people without teeth. Toothless. I have teeth, look at that. You know, I, my teeth are tremendous. Who, like growing up, did you think that the Osmonds had the biggest teeth in the world? I did. I grew up thinking the Osmonds, all the Osmonds, like Donnie, Marie, the whole Osmond family, they had the biggest teeth. And then I met Donnie Osmond and I took a photo with him and my teeth are like a thousand times bigger than his teeth. It freaked me out, I'm not even kidding. I, I mean it, I could find that photo and share it with you. But this is amazing. Mm. Nancy just said that she heard Rosemary's name today. Oh, Rosemary Badger got a shout out on the podcast and now in the live. Okay, so toothless people were the original target audience for peanut butter. Little did the world know that peanut butter would take the world by storm. Little known fact, people in the UK don't even like care at all about peanut butter. It's like not a thing in England. And I don't know why. If there's anyone British out there, let us know. Tell me why you don't think peanut butter is popular there. All right, I'm gonna recap again. This is a peanut butter coffee freeze, peanut butter cup, I should say, coffee freeze. In it, it has coffee, powdered peanut butter, cocoa, chips, sweetener, xanthan gum, unsweetened vanilla almond breeze. I have topped it with Ready Whip. And the recipe can be found at hungry-girl.com slash live, where you can find all of my recipes from these lovely live 
cooking demos. Okay, tomorrow night, people, this is exciting. So Friday is National Pina Colada Day. I have decided to make a, an alcohol-free pina colada or pina colada dessert tomorrow night. It is going to be fun. It is gonna be frozen. You need uh, frozen pineapple. You need that sugar-free pineapple crush drink mix packet. I happen to have one right here. You need uh, a little almond milk. You need a little like whipped topping. You need coconut extract. It is going to be a fantastic dessert and you're gonna be able to celebrate Pina Colada Day in style, thanks to me. Uh, that's all I got. Lauren, anything else happening before I, we sign off? I don't think so. All right, people, thank you so much for tuning in. I love all of you. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and staying inside and just like hanging out making these recipes because that is exactly what you should be doing. I couldn't love you more. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.